Hello, I'm Tim and you're watching my channel where I talk about programming and video games. And this is going to be my first video after merging two channels together. Uh, today I want to show you a small game called The Final Station. Even though you see zombies here in the background, they are not actually zombies. And this is more of a sci-fi horror game than anything else. It's uh, published by Tiny Build and uh, done by a company called Do My Best, which is, I think, a great name for a company. Uh, and it's a 2D action puzzle game, I would say. Um, it's not quite the platformer because you can actually jump or roll or do anything like this. You can actually just walk in all four directions. But you do have guns and you do have to kill zombies. So this is about two hours into the game. Um, I am now at some very dark and creepy place and you know the game starts actually very bright and nice it has a really cool uh, pixel art sort of style and very great backgrounds and parallaxing and all that kind of stuff and you start by just you know as a train driver your task is to drive a train to another city and nothing goes horribly wrong at the very beginning so Okay, looks like uh, we got actually a hub here, so I can talk to some people and maybe buy something. But yeah, as you progress through the game, it, it gradually gets worse and worse until you encounter some crazy monsters who look like just black shadows who try to eat you all the time. Uh, and your task is to follow the military orders and deliver things to various stations while trying not to die. It makes it basically made difficult by the government who puts the blockers and to unblock your train you have to actually go out of your train and find the code for that blocker but you know since everybody's dead it does takes quite some time and you have to kill zombies to get it all right so we are here at the hub and let's see what do they actually have here um do we have some dialogue options your guy never talks as far as i've seen so far at least so maybe he talks later but you get the sort of you have to figure out yourself what he said by the answers uh, and uh, most of the time the people you meet will join you on the train and you will get rewards for delivering them to safety uh, yeah I'm caring yes so oh, yeah yeah I'm now caring come on that's a bit too much this is like one of the biggest cutscenes in the game I've seen so far previous ones was quite short and it was like yeah now you are like under military take this thing and deliver it to that station all right what the hell happened did they just kick me out yeah they did right okay so how do i get the code and how the hell do i actually leave that station now now i am confused let's try i mean <laughs> i'm not sure that's exactly the best place to show the actual ah now here we have the code cool so they actually put it here uh, Firewheel gift. Yeah, right. Okay, so they decided not to follow me and uh, let's enter the code and continue to the next station. So once you enter the code, you will actually get to the sort of uh, small cutscene that, uh, I mean, I wouldn't call it cutscene exactly, but it's sort of intermediate space where you learn the story of the world through the dialogues of the people who are on your train. And you as well have to sort of maintain quote unquote the train, but the problem is um it's basically done through the mini game so here's for example this thing is sparkling which means it's a bit broken so i have to hold this down until it goes back up and this guy is super hungry i oh, know don't die don't die i'm bringing you food uh so the thing is that those mini games are annoying as hell and there's really no point to them this is like the weakest part of the game i am not sure who decided it was a good idea to put them in here because instead of just you know watching your guys you do have to watch them and feed them and give them med kits if they are bleeding uh you have as well to watch the train because if it breaks then you are screwed uh, and you don't have any, even a moment to actually look at the backgrounds and you know which are pretty cool like this one is quite boring but uh, normally when you are outside there are some really fascinating uh like layouts and vistas and things like this yeah, I have to bring in more medkits. Those guys are dying on me. So the thing is that if you deliver them alive, you would get the following rewards, basically, which is money and something else. So this guy, for example, gives me some upgrade for my gun, is, is, if I understand that correctly. This guy gives me money and some ammo. Uh, and ammo is very sparse in this game. So it's like it's really important to have um, a lot of resources. So I can really craft. You do have crafting, but you cannot really um, do a lot of it. 
Okay, this guy is about to die. Let's put the med kit on him. Yes, yes, yes. Cannot see anything. There we go. Please do not die on me. I need your reward. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's sort of... You're trying to figure out what the hell is going on with the world while driving your train, which is basically falling apart. And I get the falling apart part. So it's like, yeah, it's old and you have to sort of manually maintain it. But it's just si such a chore, basically. And uh, instead of just, you know, enjoying the background and storyline and figuring out what the hell is going on, you have to, like, do all this strange things that are not really entertaining but once you get to the station actually the interesting stuff begins i mean the last station was kind of like a cutscene where they like angry guys drinking before their death i guess let's see if this one is any more interesting so okay so the game is more or less uh exploration game so you have to basically explore to find that code while trying to loot everything that you can find because you know it's kind of helpful you also get a lot of uh, sort of text information that tells you about the world okay we got some pistol ammo uh, one thing is um, melee in this game is kind of a viable option on one hand but on other hand like um, it's a bit of a pain because or uh, um, it's a bit of a broken i would say because Monsters attacking not exactly consistently. Okay, we need to... The problem is there is the exploding guy and he still hit me. Okay, so there was one of the, the one this with the smoke around him. He was actually exploding one and as you can see, he took down a bit of my HP, which is a bit annoying, but uh, nothing super critical. Okay, we have two guys over there. Um, so yeah, another problem is that they sometimes cam for you and you cannot really, like I cannot shoot from this ladder for some reason, you can like, you can shoot from the ladder like this, I believe, uh, but you cannot shoot from this one, not sure why. So the only option is to actually run behind him. Ow, they actually, ow. So let's use a med kit here and he's just stuck there. You can do a charged hit like this, and I missed it completely. So if you do a charged hit, the monster will die in one hit. Uh, but uh, yeah, the combat system is quite simplistic. It's as I, as I already was saying, sort of it's more about uh, timing your attacks and uh, figuring out the correct way to do that and abusing the ladders, by the way. This works really well. What do we have here? So that night descends upon the world and he and those like him stars in the night sky. Okay, yeah, that was real. Okay. That is, yeah. So basically the world is just going crazy while you are driving your train. Doesn't seem to have anything here. So we have some crafting uh, parts, which is always good. I think I'm just gonna do the run through of this uh, level and then wrap it up because there's really not much to, to show aside from that, you know, core gameplay. It's, it's really well made. It has a really, wait, what? That's my train, right? The Bellos 07 is what I... What is what is going on here? And the game is full of stuff like this. It's like in the very beginning, you got like two military guys join you on a train and then something happens on the train and it basically gives you a tutorial for maintenance and you like close the window with maintenance, go back to look and there's just like blood splatters and no military guys anymore. And you're like, what is going on? And now the black stuff is everywhere. Those dreams again. Am I dreaming? Is that what's going on? Right, okay. Um, I cannot open that. Can I smash it? Sometimes you can smash things, but not all of them. So, okay. Is there any more monsters here? No, not yet at least. Ah, we got... I wonder if he's... Uh, he just disappeared. What? What the heck is... I, I think I picked the weirdest station to show you. This is like... What is even going on here? We have anyone here? No, doesn't seem so. Uh, whoa! No, 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 nope, 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 nope. Okay, we do have an exploding guy over there. So if we manage to lure them out a bit away and then shoot him in the face with a shotgun, he will explode and take all of them down. Uh, no, that didn't work. I mean, I have like three more shells. The problem is you cannot shoot down so this diagonal like 45 degrees is the best angle and uh, as you can see you cannot really shoot through this ladder here you have to actually wait for him to go away go away somewhere come on i want to blow you up and not blow myself up uh yeah sometimes they just get stuck 
and let's shoot him twice i wonder like i know that if you shoot him more he will explode okay he actually does explode if you just trigger him once time well that's pretty cool i didn't know that but that kind of makes sense all right we cleaned that out now let's continue exploring for weird stuff around here so we have some guys up there uh can i shoot him from here no i cannot this is also a bit annoying i mean that looks like a transparent thing why cannot i shoot him from here let's just and there's like small assholes in there uh, but it should be relatively easy to abuse the ladder there we go this is like one of the things that probably should be patched because it's way too easy to kill them if there's a ladder like this um all right let's see that doesn't seem to be okay we got some more crafting reagents so what's up there nothing uh, okay okay we got the code here cool and uh do we have anything else uh we have dead person with rags cool we got the battery which we can insert over here and that will do something let's go find out what that actually ah that activates the right that activates the panel because i couldn't use it before that, now it's back to normal so that is six four eight nine i think the next station should be like a safe haven where i can actually offload my uh guys who are riding with me i hope because if not and i think they will die because they don't have enough med kits and uh, enough food for them and i will have to decide who of them will die because i cannot heal all of them okay we need to feed that guy he is nearly there and we need to feed another guy over there Do I, I have lost food so someone's gonna die for sure uh, i mean most of them are fine actually so this guy this guy is gonna be hungry and he's gonna die one med kit left <laughs> everything is terrible i don't have enough regions to craft anymore let me just craft some bullets maybe and a few shotgun shells what is going on now ah there we go we are out of the bloody mountain that's a good thing all right so you are gonna die and you are maybe you will live those guys seem to be fine okay cool uh anything sparkling yeah this thing is sparkling so all of those have different mini games so you have to have to actually sort of learn them by yourself and then uh use them yeah i see that you are dying i'm sorry mate but you are gonna be dead so let's just strip him of his rags and uh see if we can craft something i don't have pills so i could craft that but i need more pills okay i guess that guy is dying as well um well too bad i don't don't really have anything to help you mate so you are going down let's fix that and uh yeah he's probably gonna die so here you can see the distance from a to b and uh, we don't really have anything else going on here so yep that guy's dead i wonder if there's actually a way to find a doctor or something uh all right so those guys are all good this one even if he goes hungry he have full health so he's gonna be fine hopefully we arrive quite soon let's fix that thing like as i said this is probably the most annoying part of the game like the exploration and all the crazy stuff that goes on is really really neat this part eh, not so much it's like uh, press this button 10 times and then you fix the train yay what's the bloody point uh but yeah you know it worth bearing with it because the storyline is pretty nifty you know it's not your like typical zombie stuff and uh as i said pixel art is gorgeous and the parallax backgrounds are amazing especially not in the dark corners so maybe i'll just walk around and show you what's going on here uh yeah there we go so i actually saved uh four guys was it so i got quite a lot of money actually and i got some um cool things i did not get this upgrade from the justin threes who was the developer oh poor justin and we got a question mark guy with uh, he looks like he's infected actually all right now let's hope he doesn't need anyone else uh but yeah let's wrap it up here so this is the last station it's uh 15 dollars or your original equivalent on steam you can grab it right now i think it's a really cool little game sort of uh, action puzzler uh, it has a pretty interesting theme and I'm I'm intending to finish it and see how the hell it ends and what the hell are those black things. Um, the most annoying part is again the train management, but aside from it, it's just really, really cool. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!